you're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, new Oxidol is white, and it washes clothes whiter than ever before. The cleanest wash you can get from any soap in the world. Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Now, see your clothes wash that new Oxidol white, whiter than ever before. The whitest wash in Oxidol history. Yes, you're right. Now there's a new Oxidol, new white Oxidol. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Once you see the whiter, whiter wash you get with new white Oxidol, you'll never use anything else for your laundry. You just won't take the risk of losing the wonderful whiteness new white Oxidol puts in your sheets and towels and shirts. You'll see that new white Oxidol gives the cleanest wash it's possible to get from any soap in the world. Wash your clothes any day. Dry them anywhere, even inside. You'll still get the whitest Oxidol wash ever. And what's more, week in and week out, that wonderful new whiteness will stay in your wash for the life of your clothes, as long as you use new white Oxidol. And new white Oxidol is truly safe for washable colors, too. You'll be pleased as punch with the sparkling brightness of your colored clothes. So be sure to try this new white Oxidol next wash day. Your dealer has it now, so get a package. Be right. Get clothes white with new white Oxidol, the greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. And now, for Ma Perkins. Well... Who would have thought that a simple dinner date would have such amazing and violent after effects? I mean, Joseph's going out the other evening for dinner and dancing with Ann Morrison. Last night, the young man finally lost his sense of humor after being kidded about his big date all day. He dropped into the restaurant for a bite to eat. And when Peter Skillet, the clerk over at the hotel, made some remarks, Joe hit him. And hit him hard. Well, it's going on 5.30 a.m. now, and Joseph, who didn't get home until after 3, is just coming down to the kitchen. Listen. Good morning, Joseph. What? Oh, Ma, what are you doing up this early? Oh, Land of Goshen, son, I'm often up this early. I just don't usually get out of bed, that's all. It's just I I didn't rest well, and I thought I'd get up and make you breakfast for a change. Oh, you you shouldn't have bothered. Oh, I got to eat, too. Sit down, Joseph. I got some nice bacon and eggs on the fire. Oh, well, look, I don't have that much to eat. I... Oh, it won't be long. Winter's coming. You got to start storing up energy, you know. It's the time of year for it. Sit down, son. Won't take a minute now. Here, you can start on your orange juice. I squeeze it fresh. It's a nice morning. Ain't it real October weather? I suppose you heard what happened last night. Uh, Just a minute, son. Let me bring the eggs to the table. Oh, a beautiful egg. Joseph Brown got them in late yesterday, just fresh from the farm. That's one of the blessings of country living. A small blessing, but still good, being able to get eggs almost as soon as they're laid. There you are. Got some potatoes frying. Oh, you. look, Ma, no, I couldn't, honest. This is more than I usually eat. Blessings or no blessings. Oh, all right, son. I'll just fetch your coffee, then. I got a plate of toast, too. And Jane. Go ahead and eat, son, before your eggs get cold. You haven't answered me yet about last night. Well, son, uh, here's your coffee. I could pretend innocence and say, no, I I ain't heard about last night. But I got too much respect for you, Joseph, to play games. Yes. Yes, I... I heard, son. Who told you? I was told twice. Dr. Tom Stevens come by and he told Dr. me. Dr. Stevens? And then Shuffle come over. He had heard. They didn't waste much time, did they? Well, son... Can't they find anything else to talk about but me? Darn this town, anyway. Everybody's had a Roman holiday ever since... I hate it. I hate everybody in it. I- I'm sorry, my... I didn't mean to sound off like that. I... 
Was he hurt? I ran away after I hit him. I beat it out of the restaurant, just walked for hours. I should have come back, I suppose, see if I heard him. Eat your eggs, son, before they get cold. I don't want any more. I can't eat. Did I hurt him? Well, Tom Stevens said that they brought Mr. Skillet over to him. He, he said that he had had to take some stitches. He, he said they'd mend all right, though. A few cats. Stitches? Well, I couldn't have hit him that hard, Ma. Didn't want to hit him at all. He just sat there, though, at the lunch counter, kept kidding. I didn't say a word to him all the time. I'd just gone in for a bowl of soup. He was in there. Started kidding the minute I walked in. Said the state police were looking for me. Did I need a new battery for the car? There were some other wisecracks about... about lipstick. I didn't say a word. I just ate my soup. And then he started to leave the restaurant. I was sitting there at the lunch counter, and he stopped behind me and made another crack. I just got sore. That's all. I wheeled around. I hit him. I... With stitches. I, I couldn't have. I... I just punched him. I... Well, according to Dr. Stevens, there, he said there was a glass showcase. Mr. Skillet stumbled. He fell backwards. It, it wasn't that you done it, son, done it directly. There was this glass. Oh, you don't think anyone will believe that it wasn't my fault, do you? Why, son, it's the truth. So what? I heard it that way from Tom Stevens and Sheffield. He got it from Constable Tucker. I'll bet you by now it's all over town that I deliberately shoved Peter Skellett into that showcase. Joseph! Tried to kill him, probably. Oh, Joseph's son. That's Rushfield Center. Joseph, no, no, you mustn't think that. America's typical town. They hate me, the whole place. What are you saying? Hate you? There ain't no hate in Rushville Center, Joe. Oh, no. No, son. Is that no. why everybody in town had to put his two cents in just because I've been seeing Ann Morrison? Joseph. Well, let them hate me. I'll return the compliment with interest. The other night, being with Ann, it was worth a million Rushville Centers. I love her, Ma. <laughs> and she likes me. I don't care what anybody thinks. I've never known anyone like her. Have someone understand you and think you're important. Now she won't even talk to me. Tried all day yesterday to get her on the phone. That Pete Skillet kept saying over the phone, I'm sorry, Joe. Who's calling? Miss Morrison ain't in. I know she was there all the time. I know she was. Joseph. Joseph, wasn't it possible she could have been out? She has work to do. Maybe she was out taking pictures of the town. Well, I didn't see her, and I looked, too, all over town. Ah, oh, she's sore at me, that's all. She heard the whole town snickering, too, all about Joey out necking with her. Now she won't see me, won't have anything to do with me. They'll be going away soon, too. Going away? Miss Morrison? That's right. I saw Mr. Sinclair yesterday down at the hotel. That was another great big skillet joke. I was there asking for Anne. He turned around and said, Here's Mr. Sinclair, Joey. Why don't you talk to him instead? Mr. Sinclair said that they're going away? Yeah. First to Palestine and then to South America. When? Son, when are they going, did he say? Oh, he didn't know exactly. Soon, though. Well, they won't be the only ones saying goodbye to Rushville Center. What, Joseph? What do you mean, well, sir? You don't think I'm going to stay around here, do you, Ma? Joseph. Can't you just see him lined up along the curb as I drive by in my milk wagon? Hey, Joe, heard from that Miss Morrison lately? Joseph's son. Battery gone dead on you lately, Joe? How about a little lipstick on your ear? Oh, I hate the whole town and everybody in it. Well, Joseph, I, I said this before. And I say it again. I've got too much respect for you to play games. If you feel in your heart, if you set your mind to it, that you can't go on living in Rushville Center... Ma, I... That's all there is to it. There isn't anything for you to do but to go elsewhere. 
I'll feel, of course, having found a son, that I'll be losing one again. But that isn't the important thing. It's for you to be happy. You've got your life to lead. And you... But just don't do any deciding about it now, son. Please. Not when your mind and your heart, your sense and your reason are being consumed with anger. You talk about hating Rushville Center and... And all in it. Oh, I, I didn't mean you, Ma, or, or Faye, or... I know. I know you didn't mean anyone. It ain't in you to hate. No more than it's in Rushville Center to hate or, or be hated. It's just a town, Joseph, and people. You, you can't hate people. You take your time, son, and decide what you want to do. Miss Morrison isn't going away yet, so you have time. It's easy running away, son. It's a lot harder sometimes coming back. Eat your breakfast now. You got to go to work. We'll talk about it again. And then if you still want to go away, eat your breakfast. Getting late. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. You think you hang out a white wash, but listen. Now there's a new, new white Oxidol that washes clothes whiter than ever before. Now Oxidol is the whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. It gives you the cleanest wash it's possible to get from any soap in the world. The whitest wash in Oxidol history. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Wash your clothes any day. Dry them any place, even inside. You'll still have the whitest Oxidol wash you ever saw. And that whiteness stays in your wash as long as you use new white Oxidol. It's truly safe, too. You'll know that for sure when you see the sparkle of the blues and reds and yellows in the colored things you wash. There's a package of new white Oxidol waiting for you on your dealer's shelf right now. So get some today. It's the greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. The whiter, whiter soap. For a whiter, whiter wash. Well, Joseph has decided he just can't go on living in Rushville Center. Of course, Constable Jim Tookie might have something to say about whether Joseph can go away on Monday. But now this is Charlie Warren inviting you to listen again Monday to Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. Same time, same station.